Hey guys, my name is Dave and welcome to another video. So, also, welcome to the first pretty much official episode of talking about the five stages of grief. Granted, personally, I have discussed them in a very vague way in the past on this channel before. However, I kind of wanted to go into a little bit more detail on talking about each different stage just because personal experiences and ways to relate to it. That being said, let's go ahead and dive into the stage, the first stage, denial. Everyone goes through denial to a specific degree. When it comes to something like this, the five stages of grief, since the five stage one cores on loss, the death of somebody else, um, not everybody goes through this stage. Some people are actually able to skip over it, depending on how accepting the person is IRL. However, for the most part, that's not the case, which is understandable. If you lose someone you care about, you're going to go into denial about it for a while just because of the fact that you don't want to believe it. And this kind of idea applies not just to the stage itself, but to many aspects of life. If you go through a rough, if you're going through a rough time, and you've found reason to believe that you're wrong about something that will impact you in an extremely negative way, to your own placebic beliefs is how I'm going to put it, um, your brain is going to revert to, you know, turning it down, turning the idea down, and going no, it's not true, it's not true, constantly. Denial is a very strong thing. It can impact people in many different ways as well. It's, it's a stage that, it's a thing that even if you don't experience it through the current topic of the five stages of grief, you still would experience it if you have any kind of anxiety going on in your life. Whether it's through just generic... Um, I believe it's called GAD. Um, General Anxiety Depre um, Disorder, I think is what it is. There's also um, depression, which by that point, it's kind of a no-brainer. A lot of people who go through that end up going through denial. But it's that kind of core mindset that causes it in the first place. I don't see individuals going through this stage very often because a lot of the people I meet in my life are the kind of people who would grin and bear it. Sure, deep down they're probably going through that mindset, but these individuals usually hide it very, very well. Usually when somebody does that, I've found personally, this doesn't mean for everyone, but I've found personally with the people that I've um, uh, met or know or knew who go through this particular circumstance, it's best to just leave them alone. Let it bypass. Because usually these kind of people are the kind of people who muster through it and are way too used to doing that to the point where if you push it, it's just going to make things worse rather than better. Now, as I said, this is not the case for everyone. Denial is a big, big thing. I've gone through it myself at points in my life. Now, the thing about denial that makes it more interesting is not it's not a one-way thing. It's not a one-way path when somebody actually goes through it. There are different types of ways to approach denial. A good example comparison to this would be the seven stages of grief which usually refers to a breakup, um, <clears throat> which we might discuss at a later date. Far later than now, because right now we're talking about the five, which refers to death. But in a short comparison kind of thing, I am going to bring up the seven one. When it comes to that one, it's usually pressing, but kind of out of frustration. That's the large difference between denial in this case, in some cases and denial in other. Frustration versus depression. 
Now, don't get me wrong. Everybody's idea of these two terms can vary depending on the individual. However, the statement still stands regardless because it's not a case of how you look at it. It's a case of comparing sad to upset. Let's put it that way instead because it's a more lighthearted way of putting what I'm trying to say. Most of the time, yes, when people go into denial for the five stages of grief, it's out of sadness, loss, depression, anxiety. But every now and then you'll come across an individual who will look at it, deny it, but when they do, it's an immediate turn to what the second stage is, which will be discussed next time. But when it's not directly that, it usually has a smidget of denial, which lashing out is usually where that leads to which again that's kind of dependent on the person it's still sad to watch one way or the other it's still sad to experience as well it's you know given the term on its own is not fun at all that being said i'm actually going to leave this video, this particular episode of the five stages of grief here I had to start somewhere, and I had it on my mind at the moment, so might as well have talked about it. What are, what are your guys' guys' opinions or thoughts on this particular topic? Do you guys think you'll be enjoying this series along with others that we're hoping to get to at some point on this channel? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out the rest of the series if you're watching this later on, or if you want to keep touch base on the playlist? Well, you might have to check it out later on anyway, but... If you do check it out this video out later on, click the link on the side of my head where you'll find the playlist for the five stages of grief individually discussed. Um, if that's not quite full in your boat, but you want to check out something on this channel that might suit you a bit more, click the link on the other side where you'll find something there. In the meantime, this train is going to head off. It needs to move on to what you guys are going to see later on today. Got to get back on to it. Thanks again for watching this video, everyone, and we hope to catch you guys in another one. Bye for now.